So we're pretty close now. The last runner going in, La Bionda. And the red light is on. Set. Racing. Clever Keezer was fairly away. Lucky Linda Lulu got away nicely. There's DeAndes though. Firing across fast. Rosebush is much closer today. Running second. A new time is zipping over. Clever Keezer the inside. Red Patty was caught wide but started to press forward. Then Bushfire Blonde who's also on the move around Red Patty who got one off the fence. Lucky Linda Lulu has dropped back outside of Clever Keezer and then Uptown Funk who's a little bit wider. Well back is Slick Sam. It's over on the inside. Also a long way back is La Beyond out a little wide from a bit sketchy and Jester Rock is back last of all. So they run down towards the home turn with about 6.50 to go and the ghostly grey DeAndes leads the way from Newtown and then came on the outside Bushfire Blonde going up out three wide. Over on the inside is, Red, is uh, Rose Bush and Red Paddy's back in the centre. Uptown Funk around them. Clever Keys are on the inside as they corner from Lucky Linda Lulu. La Beyond is taken out wide and so is a bit sketchy. Into the straight they run. 300 from home. DeAndes in front. Rose Bush tries to come away from the inside. Bushfire Blonde joined in with Uptown Frunk and now La Bionda and also a bit sketchy down the outside and then Lucky Linda Lulu. Bushfire Blonde, La Bionda a bit sketchy down the outside. It's a bit sketchy and La Bionda from Bushfire Blonde. La Bionda in front though from a bit sketchy and Bushfire Blonde and La Bionda's won from a photo. A bit sketchy and Bushfire Blonde and then Lucky Linda Lulu. Further back Slick Sam Rosebush, Uptown Funk Oh, followed by Clever Keezer. Further back was Red Patty. And then came uh, well back Jester Rock. New time stopped and so did DeAndes. La Bionda. Number 13. Close for second. A bit sketchy. Wide out. And Bushfire Blonde in a photo. So 13 wins it, La Bionda, the money came. Has beaten home a bit sketchy, Bushfire Blonde and Lucky Linda Lulu. In a fairly rough result in the end for the novelties. 13's won it from 5, 2 and 12. 13, 5, 2 and 12. And the margins coming through. A half a length along head, 119, 37, 13, 5, 2 and 12. Let's go downstairs and uh, Colin Webster's having a good run. And when they back them, they're often very hard to beat. La Bionda. Yeah, La Bionda. The money came for it late and it was a bit of a tip around for it, as I pointed out this morning. And uh, it gets the job done nicely for Colin Webster and Troy Turner. And it was well supported late, La Bionda. To win nicely, second home was the five, and that's a bit sketchy, Ashley Maley and Jay McNaught. And third home was the two, doing its best work late as well. And that was Bushfly Blonde, who was never really on the track, so that was a good effort. Fourth home, in the end, was the favourite, Lucky Linda Lulu. I don't know where Mr Webster is. I thought I saw him a little earlier in the day. Here he comes. La Bionda, down the outside, too strong. Well done, Colin. That was a good effort. Much. Thanks very much. Okay. We had a few of our listeners on the Sports Daily this morning texting in saying get on La Bionda today. So obviously there was a few that got on. Yes, well, I think she put the writing on the wall last week. It was a very, very good run and she's she had a good week since then. So uh, we gave her a really good chance today. The stable's going well? Yeah, we're still getting the odd one in. Yep. There's a big roar too at the furlong, so the few of the owners were here. They're all here. <laughs> it's always good to get a winner, Mr. Webb. All the Italians are here. <laughs> oh, be some party tonight. La Bionda's the blonde, so okay. that's it. Well, there we are. There. And a defeated, um, I think it was second, it was Bushfire Blonde. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, that's it. She's a good, honest little man. When she gets fringe hits for him, she usually keeps it for a while. So we keep backing her? Yeah, too right. All right, good luck. Well done. Thanks very much. There's Colin Webster there. And, Brittany, that was a good performance by La Bionda, defeating, of course, the five a bit sketchy. And Bushfire Blonde was back in third there for Chloe as a party and Rebecca Nan. Was. It was a nice uh, finish there, a nice finish by a bit sketchy as well. A few of those uh, flashing home down the middle late, but uh, La Bionda was justified with the support. We said that the punters liked it, and uh, Colin was definitely had a fair degree of confidence. It obviously ran here just last week, finishing just behind Truly Belong, who'd been a horse that had been out of the winner's circle for some time, one of the Cerise and White Gallopers, but uh, La Bionda probably put the writing on the wall on that occasion, and today Troy Turner has been 
been able to go one better. He wasn't aboard last week, but Troy, did you share Colin's confidence coming into today with this mare? Yeah, I sure did. Um, the horse has sort of trained on well and uh, he's got a ride again, which is good, and it's good to see her hit the line again. Talk us through the run that you were able to get. Yeah, I was just on today's pattern of racing, obviously that's where the winners are coming from, and uh, today's races and how she raced today was a perfect spot to be, and uh, they're finishing off well down the outside, so it was good. As you rounded into the corner, did you grow in confidence? Yeah, she's always travelling really well. Um, I didn't know what was on the back of me, but I had pretty much the field covered in front of me, so that was a good effort. Well done on the win. Thank you. Yeah, well under Troy Turner, Colin Webster, La Beyond, are too strong in race number six here today. Time for a quick break on Sky Thoroughbred Central. We'll be back straight after this with Anthony Mayer.